Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 11th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, starting out here, looking at 304 angstroms at our sun. One departing sunspot from solar cycle 24 and a small sunspot from solar cycle 25 on a departing sun. We also have large plasma filament with the top left side there. Looking at another light here, you can see the heliosphere of our sun. Our very quiet and sleepy sun. And have a look at our real time solar wind. As we did have a slight increase, we're sending now 400 and 465 kilometers per second. Let's look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Has been very busy. Not for large earthquakes, but many earthquakes around the world in the last 24 hours. Just looking around here, just riddled. Largest earthquake being 5.2 here, southern mid-Atlantic ridge at a 10 kilometer depth. Lots of earthquakes moving up through South America. 4.8 here in Chile, 4.5 in Peru. Straight moving north, 4.3 in Ecuador. 4.3 in Colombia. Four point four here in Costa Rica. And a four point four El Salvador. Four point seven as well. Three point nine and a three point five strange earthquakes here in Douglas, Arizona. Five kilometer depth. Those went off yesterday. Two point seven. Tom's Place, California, and a 3.2 band in Oregon. Overlooking the Aleutian Islands, 4.2 Tanega Volcano in Alaska. Please stay tuned to the volcanic activity report. It definitely will be coming today. Overlooking earthquakes here, Indonesia, 5.1, Samalaki, and as well, Philippines with a 5.1. Colombia, Philippines. Four point eight here. New Zealand and also Vanuatu. A couple earthquakes here in Greece. And as well, Iran. Zareb, Iran. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. A lot of deep earthquakes ringing off this week, but not very, very deep earthquakes. So we haven't seen the larger, shallower earthquakes, except throughout parts of Indonesia. Watching the quiet zone here still. And as we have two very large low pressure systems heading towards the Aleutian Islands over the next five days, Super Typhoon Hagibis, believe it or not, will be attacking the Alaska BC coastline in the five day forecast. Let's look at the last seven days imagery over in North America. Cold front that swept through Northwestern United States, brought a lot of snow and drop some massive cold temperatures across Colorado from 85 degrees Fahrenheit to four degrees Fahrenheit and almost an 80 degree drop. Higher elevations are definitely going to see these colder temperatures this year. So stay aware and prepare, be ready. We also have tropical development here. That is area of interest 93 and have a look here at satellite imagery over Typhoon Hagibis, who is now turning into a Category 3 Typhoon and still will be penetrating Tokyo, Japan, Friday into Saturday. 
tonight into tomorrow. And just look at this. Massive amounts of moisture associated with Hagibus. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking North America. Next five days, as I was talking about, some pretty large systems attacking Alaska and the Aleutian Islands over this week. So watch for an uptick in seismicity. Watch for cold temperatures to start sweeping across North America and not just the West. That Colorado low will be slowly moving east up into the Hudson Bay. You can see here five day forecast bringing a lot of the snow and low pressure systems to Alaska. But then look at this. Hagibis following a low pressure system into Alaska could make for ferocious heavy snowfall warnings throughout Alaska and BC. Watching the development here as Super Typhoon Hagibis will be quickly ushered north northeast. Huge high pressure polar vortex coming out of China. High pressure ridge in the Pacific, just helping move it quickly to the Aleutian Islands later in the week. So definitely a North Pole has changed quickly and we're already seeing winter engine for say set up. That means our polar vortex is getting ready and is ramping up. And that's early. We're only uh, second week of autumn. Going into our third week of autumn. Across Europe, we have a lot of low pressure systems heading into the United Kingdom. Watching for some extreme weather here parts of Romania and Italy later in the week. High pressure and low pressure crash in there. Atlantic Ocean. In the five day forecast, there is a tropical storm forming. You can see off the coastline here of Africa. Right there, that will be our next area of interest for the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic hurricane season. Overlooking South America. They're finally seeing some relief, of course, but sometimes you go from one extreme to the next and throughout parts of Bolivia and Paraguay, they are seeing a lot of heavy rains. So watch for flash flooding conditions throughout those regions. Australia, not much to talk about for weather there. Southeastern parts receiving some moisture Also watching possible cyclone development here, heading towards New Zealand later in the week. So stay aware, prepared my friends and family around the world. Times are changing. And that was your five day forecast brought to you by myself, Mr. Do, daily events worldwide. Leave you here looking at Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love to you all. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.